Hi everybody, it's Bridget. So happy Friday. I hope everyone's getting ready for a nice weekend. Um, I wanted to share this project that I made um, as a very belated birthday gift for a friend of mine. Um, I'm so sorry, Michelle, that this is so late, but I had you in mind when I made this. And it came together super fast. Um, I did make one little mistake there. But um, I had seen this uh, pocket mini, it's a 6x6, six six, um, on Charlene Gibson's channel. So, hi Char. Um, she had shown how she put together the pages and the pockets, so I decided to make one. And you literally do use the entire pack, um, the 6x6 six six pack of paper, so it's great because... I have, you know, nieces that I can make these for, and I have tons. I'm not even going to tell you how many 6x6 six six paper pads I have, so <laughs> it's embarrassing. But um, anyway, I used one of my favorites, which is the My Mind's, uh, My Mind's Eye Follow Your Heart. Um, I believe it's Rona Ferrer, if I'm not mistaken, the designer. So what I did was I did use chipboard for the covers and I covered it um, as you would like a mini binding and I used my cinch to bind the whole thing um, which is perfect for 6x6 too and I fussy cut some of the um, images I used some of the chip pieces which are hexagons and then I cut some banners and frayed them put some twine around it, popped it up on a doily and uh, just very simple. I fussy cut this from the actual, I think from the paper or from the bottom. No, I think from the actual paper. So the inside cover I layered. You can see where I bound it, you know, like a mini cover on chipboard. Um, layered it with more paper. This happens to be a little banner piece that I thought went well with the little resin flower from uh, the Secret Garden Graphic 45. But anyway, the rest of the paper is, you know, my mind's eye with the doily here, a simple flag here, um, fussy cut some of this image. And then this is the first page. And what you do, I believe, is um, you cut a 6x12 and you fold it. Oh no, you know what? I think that might have been the way, but did I use chipboard? Yeah, I think I might have done it differently this one. I'm sorry, you're going to have to check out Charlene's channel to uh, see how she did hers. But, um, so anyway, I layered some of the papers. Uh, I made this like a Polaroid just by layering squares this square on a rectangle instead of using a die. Um, which of course I do have the dies, but I guess the laziness got the better of me and I made one myself. So um, some washi tape and enamel dots, um, some buttons with a little um, baker's twine, more washi down here. This is a Maya Road camera that I sprayed with a Lindy's. I don't know if you can tell the shimmer. And then I put a little um, white flower there with a rhinestone. And all of these are pockets with tags in them. So, and the tab punch is the, um, is my Stampin' Up! punch that I used. And I was able, <clears throat> excuse me, to stamp that right on there. And then this page... Again, very simple, some a little um, washi embellishments with the flare. This is some Prima lettering here with, um, I believe, an MFT die tab. And that's just the back side of the tag that I just showed you. I don't know why it's giving me such a hard time. So anyway, this next page, very simple again, just one, you know, matted piece some uh, fishtail or flagtail banners. I just had two um, cut circles here that I layered on top of each other to look like a flower and uh, distressed it. Put this little flare here, good times. 
And what you see there is the other page, the opposite page. And then, I don't know why these are giving me such a hard time. This tag says beautiful. I love this uh, particular piece here with the colored doilies. So, that's that page. And I love this page. Um, with the the what I did here was I just fussy cut this and then I love this paper right here. So that's that. And then this page is where you saw the other side of the um, paper clip. And I die cut this from one of the um, MFT sentiments die cuts. Uh, I think it's calendar page or I don't know, it's great for people who do Project Life. And then this is an embellishment from I think Basic Gray and I just cut some of my scraps of the My Mind's Eye paper and made it into a ribbon, a ward ribbon. Some more washi. This is the paper itself. And then here, I don't remember, I think this might have been another pack from Joanne's, the Basic Gray, I think. But um, layered that with another photo mat here, put favorite there. This is the piece of paper right there, I didn't embellish it. And then this is a seal from Basic Gray and another embellishment here with some enamel dots. And that, and it says lovely. These stamps I believe are also part of the I either used Teresa Collins or, hmm. If you guys have a question on the stamps, I'll go, you know, if you can leave it in the comments and then I'll go and uh, I'll look for it and I'll answer you guys if you're interested. Um, then this piece of paper, which is where I fussy cut the cover image hexagons, I put here with some baker's twine and just made another little, um, photo opportunities and it says a few of my favorite things so I thought that was perfect for there and then here oh no it's just pop dotted is um, another doily piece a photo mat this paper is just so beautiful um, an arrow uh, paper clip one of the other banner pieces. I had cut these out for another project and I guess I didn't use them or I had the two left over. So put that there. This is the paper. It's just so pretty. These are some Dollar Spot Michaels flowers. And then another tag. So that's that. And then on the last page here, I used um, some more washi and this piece of paper. And then I cut um, a Martha Stewart butterfly, put the pearls with some more baker's twine, and then another photo mat there. And this is the last page. So this also um, was, I think, from the 12 by 12 piece because they're it's an entire sheet of like Polaroids in different sizes. So I just thought that was perfect there with, um, I want to say this is paper tray ink, the butterfly set and the doily and that's it. Some more flowers. So that's the mini. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. And I will also, um, if you're interested in knowing what stamp that is that had all these little words, I'll, uh, I'll put it in the um, description box because it's a cute stamp set and I use it a lot. It's great. So anyway, and this is the back cover, um, another piece of the paper. This might have been from the 12 by 12, but I literally used every single page, um, which is great for the 6 by 6 paper bed. So 
Anyway, uh, I hope everyone has a great weekend, and Michelle, I will be getting this out to you um, as soon as possible for your very belated birthday gift. But um, I will see you guys soon, and have a great weekend. Bye.